To make money consistently, you need to have one thing and that's the right mindset. In this video, I'm gonna share three things that you can do to really set yourself up for the right mindset. Hey, I'm Mr. Macek, and on this channel, I talk about how to make money, how to invest your money, and really just how to become totally financially independent. So if you like that kind of content, please subscribe. And also, if you like this video all about mindset, please like this button. Teach the YouTube algorithm that this is good, valuable data. And also, please follow me on TikTok. I do post there regularly, and I teach really quick one minute or less tips and tricks about making money. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about three things that you can do to really help with your mindset. First thing I'm gonna talk about is about reading books. Second one is gonna be about doing research and taking action. And the third one is gonna be about taking the product, chunking it down, and putting it in your calendar. Number one, reading books. Now, if you're just getting started on really focusing on becoming financially independent, then I highly recommend you read a few books and you don't have to read them all in one week. The first book is gonna be The Richest Man in Babylon. A wonderful, very short book, super easy to read, under 100 pages, and it talks about the importance of paying back your debts. Also, it's a great story. It's not an analytical type of book, so it's really enjoyable to read. That one's written by Ogmandine. The second book is Think and Grow Rich. You've probably heard of it, uh, written by Napoleon Hill, and this book is unbelievable. It's also free because it's uh, over 50 years old. It's in the public domain, so you can just download that one if you want, or you can buy it, or you can buy it on uh, Audible as well. Uh, this book is all about the mindset that you need, how to think and to grow rich, just like the book states. Wonderful book, it's a classic and I highly recommend it. Now the third one you've probably heard of as well and that one's called How to Win Friends and Influence People. And this is not a manipulation type of book. This is a book that's really going to talk about the psychology about how to win friends and influence people in a positive way, not in a deceptive way. It's very important for the longevity of a business. Now the fourth book is The Four Agreements. You might have heard of it. It's a very popular book. And this one is not about business in any way. This one is really about how to set your mind right in order to be able to prosper and succeed for your own personal life. And one of the biggest lessons that I learned out of this book, which I have listened to on Audible over two or 300 times, I wish Audible could tell me how many times, because it has made such an impact in my life. Uh, one of the most important things that I learned out of it is about the integrity of your word. Uh, another one is always do your best. Four Agreements, excellent book. And if you like that book, there's a few continuation books that they wrote, uh, Don Miguel Ruiz and his son. So that's a great book to read. And the fifth book you've probably heard of as well, and that is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. A lot of people in real estate read this book and got inspired because it is such a good book and has made an impact on pretty much most real estate investors. I read this book when I was in my teens and it has made a gigantic influence in my life. So another very easy to read book. Uh, you can find it everywhere and I'm sure you can find a used copy for just a couple bucks. So if you wanna have a successful mindset, these are just five out of many books that I would recommend, but these are probably the top five. I would recommend for you to read and really digest all the information. If you don't understand one of them, just come back to it in a month or so. These are all very easy to read books, uh, very inexpensive, and there's no reason why you can't get started. Hey, if you're liking this video so far, please click that thumbs up button until it turns blue. It really helps the YouTube algorithm train itself into knowing what content is valuable. All right, now the second thing that I really wanna talk about is all about the research and action. And keep in mind, I am not just saying research only. It's very important that you take action. Now, one thing that happens to new entrepreneurs is that they go into this deep rabbit hole of researching. And what happens is what we call analysis paralysis. Basically means that all this education that you're getting and dumping into your brain about your particular niche or your particular product that you wanna sell or whatever it is you do, and you don't take any action. You learn all about how to become a real estate agent, but then you never call anyone to try to sell real estate. Or you go all into researching all the products that you can sell on the, through Amazon as a reseller, and then you never actually pick one. You never take any action. So this second component on getting your mindset right is about keeping yourself in check. 
research, implement. So what I recommend is for your mindset, don't judge yourself, just research and take action. Research and implement. That's all you really have to do. And if you keep that as the forefront of something that you are really doing, you will never allow yourself to fail because you will always be going back to researching after your action ends up being a failure. And everyone has failures. There's no way that a company became big without having some failures. So don't worry about it. Just go back to more research and now take a different action. And if you don't know where to start, I highly recommend researching. First of all, what do you like to do? It's very important for you to get into something that you actually enjoy. So I enjoy real estate, so I educate myself on all types of real estate, all residential from my experience. But there's wholesaling and flipping and being a real estate agent and being a long-term landlord or, or a seasonal landlord for like Airbnb. So there's so much that you can do, just what do you like? You know, find that out. And you can do things like researching on YouTube. It's all free. You don't need to go buy any courses. And you can be an affiliate marketer or you can learn about stocks. These are all great ways to get started. And the last thing that I want to talk about, the third thing, is about chunking down and then time blocking. And here's what this means. As you go do all your research and then you implement things, what you're probably gonna find out is that you are overwhelmed. You have so many things you have to do because every successful business has a long list of things to do, but not every successful business has to start complicated. So if it seems too complicated, get your mindset right. Take that big chunk that you have to do and chunk it down into very small parts. If you're going to go from A to Z, you're probably going to fail. But if you're going to want to get to Z by only going from A to B today or this week or this month, you probably will get to Z. But if you just try to do the whole marathon stretch on day one, you're probably going to fail and then you're not going to try it again. So it's important to take your entire project and chunk it down from A to B. Next week, next day can be B to C. And before you do anything about it, take that little snippet of your project and put it into your calendar. Say, I'm going to work on it on Wednesday between 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. And then take your second chunk and say, I'm going to work on it next Monday from you know 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Whatever it is, however much time that you can commit into your business, then chunk it down and time block it. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I'm going to be teaching you all about how to make money, how to get your mindset right, how to invest your money and really just becoming successful. So right now, I highly recommend you watch this video right here. It's going to be explaining all about how to get started in real estate.